Now we look at multi spool arrangement. At the moment, uh, for the first one just now, it's only a single shaft and twin shaft arrangement. Let us see the multi spool arrangements. To obtain high thermal efficiency without using a heat exchanger, a high pressure ratio is essential in the compressor stage. So this will be, will be difficult in terms of compression processes, right? So if you imagine you do not use heat exchanger, how are you going to um, have a high pressure ratio, right? Multi-stage centrifugal compressor has low efficiency than the axial flow compressor. I believe all of you can relate back what is a centrifugal for compressor and axial flow comp compressor that has been taught earlier in the propulsion course. And uh, even though it is capable to produce high pressure ratio. For a typical large <coughs> unit engine, axial flow compressor is normally preferred. Okay, however, at a low speed operation, the blades stall due to aerodynamic vibration. So imagine whenever you want to uh, design a gas turbine engine, you have to decide what kind of uh, speed operation that you are going to uh, use okay, in, uh, in, in most of the time. Because if you uh, have uh, an, a variable operation speed, you, you vary the speed so much, right? So um, the axial flow compressor um, uh, is only uh, what we call it it is only optimum in terms of the performance at a high speed. But at low speed, it is not that good. You may want to opt for a centrifugal flow compressor because at low speed, okay, the blades of the axial flow compressor uh, probably can uh, vibrate uh, due to aerodynamic vibration because it is, it is not being designed to operate at the low speed um, uh, situation, right? So the problem is severe in the eight to one pressure ratio compressor. So imagine you have a, you, do, you want to design a low uh, uh, pressure ratio. It is also good to go for the centrifugal uh, type of compressor. So to overcome this, how are we going to overcome this? Whenever you want to still decide to use an axial type uh, compressor, the compression is divided into two or more sections, right? <coughs> this means a mechanical separation of the compressor. So each stage will run at different rotational speed, unlike intercooled compressor in figure 1.6 that we have already looked before. Eh? So for this uh, type of twin spool uh, engine, you have uh, the low pressure compressor to be connected to the low pressure turbine, high pressure compressor will be connected to the high pressure turbine. So it is, there is a, a different shaft eh, uh, connected for those uh, uh, type of the compressor and turbine. Okay, so the low pressure compressor is driven by low pressure turbine and high pressure compressor is driven by the high pressure turbine. So for engine with small airflow, you have a small uh, air intake, the high pressure compressor is of centrifugal type. As I uh, explained earlier, in terms of the type of compressor, uh, whenever you want to choose uh, at the low speed or the high speed. Eh? So this is because at high pressures involved, the volume flow rate is low and the blading required for an axial compressor would be too small for good efficiency, right? So twin spool are suitable at a range of 10 to one pressure ratio and up to 35 to one pressure ratio. And uh, there are cases that we use triple spool, is used in large turbofan engine, right? For aircraft engine, large turbofan engine, you may end up to have three spool, eh? triple spool for both the high pressure ratio and low rotational speed for the fan. So this is the, these are the reasons why a certain type of gas turbine engine uses more than one uh, shock. Okay? So you have uh, uh, 
uh, why you you now would be able to explain uh, what are the reason behind uh, twin spool arrangement or triple spool arrangement what are the benefits what are the advantages and disadvantages